The Prudhoe Jockey Club is next. One more two and a half furlong. Group one for three year olds. It's the French Derby to most of us. And Brails Brailsford Glove is the top one for Derek Hinton. Chaldean for Dan Hughes. Isambard Brunel, Paul Rhodes. Take the high ground, Jim Murray. Time to play the game, Joshua Sutherland and Trumpet Coup, James Shea. Ridiculously small field of six for this, which is really surprising. And away we go in the French Derby. The Prudhoe Jockey Club. And Chaldean has got off into the lead, pulling for its head. And take the high ground, time to play after that one. And Isambard Brunel between them. So this is going to be a really strange race for a Group 1 Classic. Which is what it is, because it's, it's the French Derby. And with a field of just six, it's going to be quite tactical, I would think. And Chaldean is in the lead from time to play the game in second and take the high ground on the outside is third Brailsford Grove is fourth and Isambard Brunel and Trumpet Coup just the back marker it's amazing to think that we had like 18, 19 runners in quite a lot of the races on day one Most of these 10 furlong races are normally quite big fields, so I can't understand why there's only six in this. Really puzzling. Anyway, Chaldean's in the lead. Take the high ground is second. Then time to play the game is by Brunel, Brailsford, Glover, and then Trumpet Coup is currently the back marker. But Chaldean is quite happy in the lead. Bowling along from Isambard Brunel. I'll keep going to stick Kingdom in the middle of that one's name, but I'll try not to. Then comes time to play the game, take the high ground. But Chaldean's kicked on now. There's only two furlongs left to go, and Chaldean's kicked on from the front, and they've got the rest of them thinking about it behind. Isambard Brunel and time to play the game. Then take the high ground, Browns for Glove, Trumpet Coup. They've all got a lot of ground to make up at the back, and Chaldean is holding on well at the moment with a furlong to go. And it's difficult to see this Chaldean getting caught at the moment. And Dan Hughes has a good record in the classics. He's going to take himself. Another French derby, I'm sure he's won this before. Up towards the line, Caldi, an easy winner from time to play the game. Isn't by Brunel, then take the high ground. Trumpet Q didn't do anything to that at all. And a pretty uneventful race for a group one, but Dan Hughes won't mind. Caldi and takes it, and Dan Hughes normally picks up a few group ones. He normally picks up a classic as well. And he's done one there as well. So Caldean wins it for Dan Hughes. Time to play the game. Joshua Sutherland second. Isambard Brunel. Paul Rose back in third. Take the high ground. Jim Murray fourth. And Trumpet Cooper James Shea was fifth. Just six runners then in the French derby.